Why not one more? No, no, they're gonna finish. <laughs> the mark of a true chess player. One more game. I'll just do one more game. One more game. You know, that's what drug addicts say, right? One more hit. One more hit. Dude, no, I have a, I I have a, 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 I have a stick that you're addicted to a lot of things. You just admit that some of them are worth it. It is pretty addictive. It is pretty addictive. You're addicted to water. The same way that you crave water, you crave other things, but water is a good one. Right, There's good. certain things I won't do for water. <laughs> yeah. exactly. All right, are you ready? Yes, I even hit your clock. Ready? Okay. What? Oh, that's a cool car. Yeah. I love him too. Alright, okay. No ducks at all. My first king was in the end of the day. Right. Uh, Just, sorry. Basically, every win I got was a complete fluke of my opponent falling apart. Like, like, fake him falling asleep in the wheel because I was playing so badly. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, this guy. Okay. I know, 96. Oh, it is. 96. <laughs> this man has ideas. <laughs> Okay, it was just in case. This is like a line. Actually. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Get out of my space. You're a bad man. Get out of your space. Get, <laughs> if I get out of your space, you leave, you leave it alone? Alright, so I'll just take it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are Oh, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, okay. Damn super close. <laughs> Girlfriend, don't come as often. Not jumps. <laughs> <laughs> Thing. 
getting my palm back. phrase it's my fetch key and I want it now <laughs> no but I'm sure you're gonna tell me what it means <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna learn rather quickly I believe
Yeah! Oh, but now what? Uh, Technically. Oh, God. Oh, I'll give you a draw. I'm going to draw. No, that's, you got it. No, you all played it. You, you even gave me my coins. <laughs> Good game, bro. Oh, yeah, that was fun. I messed that pawn up, I think, for sure. I think, it was, I think that was one. I mean, it was a pawn up, so it should be one. But I just, I had, I got lucky here. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah, the outside I, passer. To yeah, I needed to, I should go look at that one and play that one again. Because that one should be an easy win, I think. No, 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 I gotta run, I gotta run. Hey guys, Brent here. What a fun game by Hippie Rob and Cobra Chris here. You thought it was stalemate, but you had one tempo left here. And gotta love the sportsmanship at the end, man. That, that was one of the best games I've seen in terms of time pressure and end game and that was a really gnarly end game because it looked like it could win but um it, it it's hard we'll, we'll go over how rob could have won it as well as how chris could have won it believe it or not uh at the end well i mean he was gonna win it later on but um uh, before that we'll go over that position but wow very very fun game by both nice like grinding game by rob here able to kind of grind into the end game and convert and let's figure out how he could have done it so F3 was played, let's go move back. Will be another move for black here. I, I always say that endgame is going to be the most counterintuitive part of the game because, you know, you the entire game, you just want to keep moving forward and forward and forward. But in the endgame, sometimes it, it pays to not move forward, right? And I, an idea to look at this is that this king has to babysit this pawn, and you got these two pawns here, and so this is kind of locked down for black. Black is okay here. Black's got to worry about this, right? Because white can create a passer. You know, boom, boom, and then push. So black can play, yes, king d5, if boom, boom, boom. Guess what? You take, and you're in time to catch, and... Once you've kind of destroyed all hope for your opponent, then you can just roll and this will be an easy win for black. So very, very counterintuitive way to uh, play that end game. And I think for Chris, man, give it up for Chris too, because he, he hung in there, man. He battled back, able to kind of create that passer and queen. And this is a super hard move to see. So look at this. Look at this eval bar, right? 0, 0.0, mate in 20, 0, 0.0. Let's go move back. What the heck is the move for white here? And there is no way you can find this in a blitz game with with uh, 10 seconds left. In a tournament game, I'm pretty sure Chris can find this, but not in this type of situation. Because, yeah, see if you can possibly see if you can find it for white. Yes, instead of queen g8, queen g7, what the heck? Does that really make a difference? Okay, let's see. Boom, and... The way you got to think about this is square control. This is gone, this is gone, this is gone. You only can move here, 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 or here. Anywhere you move on the h-file, white will check and trade off the queens and um, and black will, I mean, and white will win. So only a hope is here, but now what do you play? Yes, queen f6 check, and now notice this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, gone, gone. And here is gone. You can only move back. You kind of wiggle your way here. And now you see you force the king back into the H file. Trade off. And this will be an easy win for white. So that was the way out in the end game. But super, super hard to see when you're the one playing under time pressure. But what a fun, fantastic game. Gotta love it. And nicely done, boys. And that was one for the ages. Beautifully done, Rob. Great job, Chris. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at that bell notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.